buying or selling a home can be uh, kind of nerve-wracking unless you really have somebody smart who's uh, kind of backing you up. That somebody could very well be a gentleman by the name of Adam Hopkins. He's with Hopkins Real Estate Group. He and I had the opportunity to get together at a home they have listed. And uh, we're going to start off with kind of an overview, some basics about both buying and selling and while, why now may be a good time to do both. The Hopkins Real Estate Group is a, it's a team within uh, Keller Williams Realty. Keller Williams right now, it's the second largest real estate company in the country. Mm -hmm. uh, we have over 80,000 agents across the country, so it's quite a referral network. So within that company, uh, we have a, a small team of five agents that we work um, as a core unit to make sure that all, everything that needs to be handled in the purchase or sale of a home is taken care of. What are the benefits of that to your uh, sellers and buyers of coming from a company that has such breadth across the country? Well, a lot of it uh, comes from referrals. We get re referrals not only from all over the country, but we've actually had clients that have had their properties exposed overseas mm -hmm. for people that you know might be looking on uh, a golf website and their home shows up. So you have that, but then also uh, the education with having such an expanded network the company really focuses on education to make sure that the agents are extremely well trained so that uh, when you start looking at specialization, uh, they, f depending on what the client's specific needs are, whether it be upscale luxury home, whether it be an investment property, whether it be a second home resort uh, type property, that the agents understand the differences and nuances um, of those particular clients. So this home, that we, and this is a home that you have listed off right. of Wigington Road in Lynchburg. And so this home, obviously, we've, we've got a pretty good market going on in our region at the present time. But because of the power and the reach that you have, this home can be seen on the other side of the world or on the other, uh, other, uh, on the other coast. Absolutely. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And the great thing about it, you don't have to be on the computer to find it. You can use, uh, you can use your iPhone and you can access virtual tours, uh, complete information, tax information. Uh, every, every detail you need to find out about this home or any other home that we have, um, you can just uh, pull it up on your phone and it's right there. Of course, the question that everybody's been asking, and I think this question is getting more and more positive, particularly in our area, is now a time to sell, is now a time to buy? Because we can't sell without buyers, so it's mm -hmm. got to be a good time for both. That's right, and the answer is yes to both. And the reason there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, number one, you're looking at interest rates right now. Uh, I just pulled up the rates. It's 4.91%. Historically, anything below 8% is incredibly good. So what that means is you can afford more home. Uh, a home like this is incredibly affordable. You could be looking at, at payments per month, you know, around $1,400 to $1,500 per month with about 5% down. Mm -hmm. So it's incredibly affordable. Um, on top of that, home prices are very competitive, probably more competitive that, that they've ever been. But we're also starting to see a trend where home prices are beginning to move back up. So right now you have a perfect blend of low, historically low interest rates. You've got home prices that are as low as they've been since 2004. And all the indicators show that those are starting to come back up. So now is definitely the time if you're looking to buy. Well, let's start at the beginning of the process then. If somebody is looking at, because we need a home on the market first. So if somebody wants to sell a home, what is their first step today? They've been sitting in it. They've been thinking, okay, it's been two years, three years. I think things are getting better. I'm ready to make a commitment to sell it. What's the first step they take? The first step is always education. Find out what the market is doing in terms of broad general terms, you know, average uh, list price, uh, sale price, uh, average days on market, what neighborhoods are selling. Uh, but beyond that, you, you really need to drill down uh, to find out what the competition is for other homes that are like yours cause, because a, a general sense of what the market, do, market is doing is one thing. But when you're looking, for instance, with this particular house, uh, we have this very competitively priced. We know it's priced, priced where it needs to be. Uh, but the only way that we know that is by pulling up uh, information uh, either through the MLS or uh, hundreds of other sources that we use to find out uh, what homes like this one have sold for, uh, what's currently on the market, how long they've been on the market. So that way, you know, any adjustments that need to be made as a seller, uh, you can make those informed decisions and not wait for uh, the market to pass you by. More professional home buying and selling advice from Adam in a second. Last week of every month, Adam Hopkins is going to be here to talk about some home buying and selling advice. This is part two of my conversation with him to kind of introduce Adam to you and get a general overview of home buying and selling. It's important that people understand the difference between a customer relationship when you're dealing with the, whether it be a real estate agent or an attorney, uh, the difference between a customer relationship and a client relationship. And the difference with that is simply, you know, when you're looking to purchase a home 
and you contact the listing agent on that property. That agent is, has been hired uh, by the seller uh, to get the best price for the property, negotiate the best terms. So if you contact them, they can provide information to you, but if you, unless you have a client relationship with a, uh, a real estate agent, uh, the difference is the customer, they're providing information. The client is they're interpreting the information. So it's not just here's the information, uh, what would you like to do? The client relationship means this is the information. Based on your goals, these are the implications. So is this going to help you move closer to your goal or further away? And that's really what it means. And if you're going to compare that with uh, sitting down with, with an attorney, you can go to an attorney and they can draw up a contract and they can lay it out and say, well, here's your contract. But the difference is uh, when you're dealing with a real estate agent and you have that, um, that relationship as a client, they can sit down and, and go through and explain exactly what each clause in there means to you in, uh, in everyday terms. So it's not all legal jargon. As we're, uh, and again, we're having this conversation in a home that you have listed on the market right now off of Wigington Road in Lynchburg. And I guess actually we're in, uh, this is probably Bedford County where we're located at the present time. We're in the city. We're in the, we're city. In the, we're in the city here. See, now that's, that's that whole point about information because if somebody's looking to purchase, they not only want to know the neighborhood they're purchasing in, what the services are available, exactly. what the taxes are, and I thought this was Bedford County. I was wrong. You corrected me. <laughs> well, that's our job. That's what we're here for. That's why we're getting paid. Uh, as professionals, we do this every day. I've been doing this for 10 years. Um, I started off uh, doing investment uh, flips and rehabs, and then I, I really saw the, the value of, of being able to, to help clients reach their goals, whether it be you know, finding a larger home for their family, building an investment portfolio, bu building long-term cash flow. Um, regardless of if you're, if you're buying or selling a home, uh, it's important to look at it in terms of if you were looking to make an investment and you were going to spend $300,000 on stock. Let's say you wanted to go to E-Trade and pay three and you know invest $300,000. Is it really does it really make sense to go in, uh, do a couple clicks, do some basic research and say, "Okay, I want to purchase this stock." Or is it better to go in, find somebody that does this every day, has been doing it for 10 years, that understands the ins and outs of the market, understands the trends, you know, what direction the market may be leading? Um, you know, what the good values are, what the, the bad values are, uh, to make sure that you stay away from, uh, you know, stocks that may not make sense for you, but really be able to provide the ones that are the best fit for what you're looking for. Is it beneficial today? <clears throat> you have a client, and I'm not sure if, if this particular homeowner is this way or not. They want to sell a home so that they can buy another home. Correct. Working with that agent both as their listing agent, but as their buying agent, as they're going out to purchase that new home, as they're looking for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, you know, there, there's a lot of value in that. Um, and, you know, that way you can, when you understand what the, the client's real needs are in terms of selling and purchasing, it helps you put that puzzle together. Uh, because if you have several different people working on different parts of the puzzle, uh, it just makes it more complicated. It's harder to coordinate. So in terms of selling, uh, there are a lot of contingencies a lot of times that need to take place. You may have another purchaser who comes in, puts an offer on a home like this one. They may have a home to sell, and they may have a contingency on that home that they have to sell in order to purchase this one in order to purchase another one. So there's a, a long stream of event, events that need to take place. So when you consolidate that and you understand the information that, that's needed, um, it really saves you a lot of time and it saves you a lot of money and a lot of hassle. What do you think it is, Adam, that, uh, uh, that makes your uh, real estate company stand out? It's really cu putting the customer first. Um, really what set me on uh, the idea of getting into the real estate business is my first real estate transaction. I didn't turn out quite as well as I would have hoped that it would have. And I felt that it's really important, especially in this industry, to know that when you have a relationship with a real estate agent, that you know that their number one goal is to make sure that you're taken care of. It's not about closing the transaction, it's making sure that you're taken care of as a client. <clears throat> and really understanding that as long as that's done, that everything else will take care of itself. And so that's, that's really where our focus has shifted to. Um, it's helped us be more flexible. It's helped us look for ways uh, to improve our services to make sure that we're on the leading edge of technology as opposed to trailing. And you know, you're either you know, in business just like anything else, you're either leading or following. Um, I don't particularly like the, the scenery when you're following, so we like to stay out in front. But the, the purpose of that 
is really to provide better, better service for our clients. Hopkins Real Estate Group, Adam Hopkins, 101 Dun Craig Drive, number 106 in Lynchburg, 434-444-7136, and online, adamhopkins.net.